everybody, welcome to today's video. I am Danielle and I love to make videos about Lancaster County, Pennsylvania and showcase all the wonderful, delicious, fantastic things about that very special place. And today we're going to do a video about how to get that wonderful, delicious stuff to your house nationwide with Taylor Chip Cookies. So Taylor Chip Cookies is the company that started technically in 2017 and they are a husband and wife team. They have a little girl now. They started out dating, baking together. They kind of prompted their their business on their wedding day by giving out these free cookies as uh, gifts for their guests and then kind of started from there and there's a whole new history on their website. Uh, I'm going to link it below in the description. They have really good marketing, I'll say that, because I have seen and heard about them for a couple years now, not even knowing where they were from. I had a friend actually in Oklahoma say, have you heard this place? And I was like, it's in Lancaster County, like smack dab in the middle of the town of Intercourse. So pretty fun to discover that this really well marketed, delicious looking cookie company was based in Lancaster County. So they have four locations, Mannheim, Intercourse, Hershey, and York, Pennsylvania, my hometown, my home county of York, Pennsylvania. So that's pretty cool. They have interactive kind of customer based service. They in include you in surveys and they ship nationwide. They are amazingly delicious cookies. They are stuffed cookies. So they come like flat with like a round ball. You're gonna see our whole shipment. You're gonna see the whole experience of us opening them and trying them for the first time. Enjoy the video. Okay, I got my first delivery from Taylor Chip Cookies. It left Thursday morning from Gordon Mill. Got here this morning, Saturday morning. So we're gonna take a look at it together for the first time. Delightfully perfect cookies. Big enough to share. Drum roll. Okay, there's a bubble wrap here to keep it safe. So I'm really curious how it turned out after traveling for two days to make them warm and gooey. It says here four days on the counter, seven days in the fridge, and three months in the freezer. Nice. Here's the family who started this company. I think they were about a seven year old company. And they have a, I believe they have a little shop right across from Stolfa's Meats. I could be wrong, but I think that's their, one of theirs. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, they're not your average cookie. Can you see that? Let's open one here, Nathan, open one up. So what's special about these cookies is they stuff them. That's what makes them extra good. See that? Oh my goodness gracious. This, I think, is stuff. Why don't you just try to tear that in half? I think it's just chocolate that we're gonna see. Oh, no, mm. it's peanut butter. It's like peanut butter. <laughs> you wanna take a bite of it and see what you think? Peanut butter's good. Okay. See, here is a nice close up of it upside down. Look at that. So, every cookie I ordered, I think there's a couple that aren't. Most are stuffed, and we're gonna get to all of them eventually when everybody else gets home. Okay. I'm eating my first bite. It is so delicious without even warming it up. In the microwave. It is so good. It's gooey and delicious and sweet and chocolatey and peanut buttery. Perfect. Just so, so, so good. So the cost of ordering a dozen of these delicious cookies is about $69.94 as a base price. You do get a coupon that's, I think, 15% or 20% off when you do sign up for like a, to be in their newsletter. And that saved you $15. So the subtotal would be $54.34. Shipping us $13. And so the total cost is about $67.94. So not cheap, but very, very delicious. I would definitely do that again for a special occasion. It, they all came fine. Like none of them are broken or messed up. So that's pretty impressive. We're traveling over a thousand miles to get to me. Here's all the cookies I ordered. I wanted to get a vegan and gluten-free to see how that would taste too. So we'll review that later. Hopefully everybody will be pleased in this family. Hey Nathan, what kind do you have? Birthday cake. Nice. You can warm these up, by the way, they actually say you can probably warm them up. Cream's actually really good. It tastes like uh, those vanilla Oreos oh, okay. that I really like. Okay. Okay, Kelly's gonna have a brookie. That's like a brownie and a cookie. Yeah. That's good. Mm. Plenty of good. Well, pressure use a plate. <laughs> mm, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. Is it? Yeah. Is it good? Pretty good. It's better than the Domino's ones. Oh, I hope so. I don't know. Domino's are pretty good. So. What do you have, Dan? Mm. This is peanut butter. What? Hold, I'll hold it up to the camera. So you want to put that in the microwave? No, I'm just going to eat it like that. 
got a little bit of fill in it right there. Actually, the cookie's really good. I ain't getting any of the fill, though. It's because it's like natural peanut butter. It might um, heat it a bit to make it softer. Maybe, but it's really good. It's really good. Worth the shipping from Lancaster County. It is. For special occasions. <laughs> it is. So I have the gluten-free vegan chocolate chip. Because some of us need this sometimes. Okay, let's see anything in here. Probably not. It's probably just the cookie, but actually, we get a good shot of that in there. I can hold it up. Let me hold it up. All right, let's taste this. We'll see. For gluten-free vegan, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, Seth also has a peanut butter. Yeah, really so here's cool. a close up of this. Oh, it looks so good. So do you eat it? Do you like yeah, it? it yeah, it tastes like a a high quality cookie Reese's. Mm. So there's Reese's peanut butter cup and Reese's pieces and peanut butter and chocolate. We're really good. <laughs> Turn it on. You can open it up. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's like an Oreo. Oreo. Okay, so we had to wait a few days in between tasting because there was a lot of cookies and we had stuff going on. But I kept them in the fridge, got them on Saturday, today is Wednesday. They shipped out last Thursday, so they shipped out a week ago. We're gonna see how good they still are. This one I had yesterday uh, is called Salted Caramel Pretzel. It's probably one of my top three I've tried. It's super, super good. So, Salted Caramel Pretzel is actually one of the best cookies I've had from this batch and maybe probably top five ever. It's like the perfect combination of gooey, ooey, like deliciousness, but not overly sweet, but just the exact right amount of caramel. There's not a lot of caramel textures, it's caramel flavor. It's a little bit of caramel on top, but it has a salty and a sweet together with the ooey gooey. It's divine, so good. So this is my, probably my second favorite. The favorite so far has been the peanut butter one that you had the other day. Uh -huh. That was really good. This is really close, number two. So Dan's trying the original, the OG chocolate chip. Let me try some of it too. It's not bad. I like your uh, chocolate chip cookies better. That's really good. You have the end in the middle. The middle is really, really gooey. Here, Nathan. No. So can you see it? Top and then the middle. It's very gooey. I really like this actually. Probably one of my favorite ones in this batch as well. It's grown on. Okay. Now we'll try the double chocolate brownie. Cut it in half. Oh, look at that. Was the outside. <laughs> the inside. Can you get both top and okay. Try a piece of this. This is good. So I will say this is impressive for being a week old. These are week old cookies technically. But I've kept them in the fridge and they're very good. Like I wouldn't say they at all have aged badly. They're very good. What do you think of the chocolate mm -hmm. brownie? I like it. I think I like the peanut butter than the chocolate chip than the brownie. My word. Okay. One more. Okay, last one is a snickerdoodle. Okay, we're try. I'm gonna try the inside of the snickerdoodle. I'll have some of the inside too. It's good. It's very good. I will say, this one didn't age as well as the rest. It's a little drier. So I don't know why. Maybe it's the uh, cream of tartar or something made it drier. But it's a little drier than the other cookies. Yeah. But in general, this has been very impressive. Well, a week old cookie package turned out really well still. So very good. I really, I really like this place. I think it'd be fun to get this for like a special occasion, you know, to have for like a party or something. I think it'd be really good to have this for that, but definitely stop by and you can go into their store in Lancaster. Okay, I'm gonna kind of sum up my looking back, my objective opinion about the whole experience of these cookies. So impressive that they shipped in two days. Extremely impressed that they were as fresh as they were after being shipped and staying that way for seven days in the refrigerator. Um, the only one that didn't really hold up for that seven days was the snickerdoodle. But snickerdoodles are usually, I think dry, they dry out normally quicker anyway than most cookies, um, but it was still very tasty. But my absolute favorite was a tie between the salted caramel pretzel and the loaded peanut butter. Those were delicious. That peanut butter was one of the best peanut butter cookies I've ever had, and I'm a pretty big fan of peanut butter. The chocolate with the peanut butter inside it, which I believe was called peanut butter fudge. That was a very close second after the two that were tied for first. Um, I like the peanut butter explosion. 
I like the lava cake. What I didn't really love, but I will not order again, was the Oreos and cream, uh, the double chocolate brownie, and the brookie, nor the gluten-free vegan chocolate chip. Those were not my favorite. But the other ones were so exceptional, and maybe they'd be different fresh that day. That's just my humble opinion. But the ones I mentioned are my favorites. I would absolutely order that again. They were amazing. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Highly recommend. Don't forget they do have a coupon that you can use with your first order. That does save you some money. They're not cheap cookies, but they're delicious cookies. And if you live near there, go to one of their stores and just get them there. It'd be a little cheaper than having them ship. So a great deal, a delicious little treat to have when you can't be in Lancaster County or even when you're there. So hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you tried Taylor Chip Cookies and what you think and what your favorite flavor is. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your next cookie adventure.